Slime Fam. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Amy Way Mommy and welcome to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed and hitting that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I do post new videos every Sundays and Thursdays. Today's video, I do a tutorial on this really pretty dramatic brown and gold black smoky eye. This look was sent to me by my Aunt Jennifer. She wanted me to recreate this look from um, a game she plays called Covet. This is her play ID. If you guys play it, go ahead and check her out over there. I know she She's doing really awesome with it and I know she's really high up there and the look itself is called brown shadow I'm gonna post up a few reference photos of what I'm gonna go by and how I do this look today it is a tutorial if you're interested in how I do this look then definitely keep on watching and don't forget about the huge giveaway that I have going on on my Twitter right now that is live so go ahead and hop on over there as well when you're done watching this so you can enter it. I've already done my eyebrows, my face primer, my foundation, my concealer, and my setting powder, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did use for all of that. For my brows, I used the Anastasia Brow Definer Pencil in dark brown, and then I used the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in medium, so that's what I did for my brows. Also, I've been doing my brows a bit differently lately. I really like them, so let me know if you guys like them, and let me know if you want an updated brow tutorial on that. I would definitely be happy to do that for you guys. Primer, of course, I used the Elf Wireless Putty Primer. Foundation, I used the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay in 102 Fair Porcelain. And then concealer, I used Tarte Shape Tape in Bare Beige. And then to set everything, I just used my Maybelline Fit Me 100 Translucent Powder. Apparently, I can't even open it. Looks just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes first. Today, I am going to use the Ulta Tinted Eye Primer. This is in the color Champagne. I'm just going to go ahead and pack that all over my eyelids. I forgot to mention when I blend out my eye primer, I just use the Morphe R33 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use the James Charles palette for today's look. So to set the eye primer, I'm going to use this white shade right here called Flashback. Oh, there goes my plastic paper. Ah! To apply that color, I'm going to use the Morphe E23 brush that looks like this. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Disclaimer, ignore any mess that you might see in the background of me. I am in the process of doing all of my laundry and my daughter's laundry and going through the clothes that don't fit us anymore because apparently my daughter and I both decided to go through a growth spurt. So that's a chore within itself that I really don't want to think about, but it has to be done. And once again, my fan is always going to make noise in the background as well. Super hot in my bedroom and I'd rather not sweat on camera for you guys. It'd probably be a little too gross. Next, I'm going to take this Code James shade right here and I am going to put that in my crease as the transition shade. To do that, I am going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics JS5 brush, and I am just going to windshield wiper motion that in the crease as the transition shade, making sure it's really blended out. Alright, that big fluffy brush that I had used to set the eye primer with, I'm going to take it, clean it off, and I am going to blend the edges of the transition shade. That way it's a little less harsh, a more softer see how it really just kind of softens it out more versus this one. So next I am going to take a Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to go into the shade right here called No Beans. So I'm going to focus it on the outer V area and then blend whatever remaining product is there into the crease to really smoke it out. And as usual, don't worry because we will be going back in and blending it out more. So don't ever worry too much about the harsh lines that are originally there. I always go back and blend my work. Next, I am going to take a Morphe E17. I'm going to take the shade right here, T. I'm going to blend it right underneath where I just put the No Bean shade. And then we're going to go in with the same brush here, cleaned off with canvas, and blend everything out. So I'm going into the T shade first to deepen everything up. And now we're going to go in with that canvas shade that I showed you guys and we're going to blend out all of the edges so it's not so harsh and so we kind of smoke it out a bit. See how much nicer this eye looks now that it's been blended versus this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Then I'm just going to go in with that same brush clean and then blend the two darker colors together more. 
I'm going to take a Morphe M546. I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is called Wig. I'm going to pack it where we don't have any color and bring it this way because if you look in the photo, I do see some goldish colors in there and it's almost like a half cut crease. So I'm going to go ahead and take that color and work with it around where the blank areas are and blend it up here some. I'm going to go back in with the Morphe E17 brush. I'm going to go back into the T shade and mixed with the no beans and blend out the edges of where we put the gold just so it is a little seamless. Alright, so now that we have that done, I want to take a very small blending brush. This is the Morphe M506. I'm going to carefully go into the black shade right here called Spooky. You want to carefully go into it because black is not a forgiving color if you mess up. I'm going to carefully smoke out the outer V a little bit more and bring it down to the lower lash line partially. Very carefully, lightly. Again, black is not a forgiving color if you mess it up. You definitely want to make sure you take Tap off whatever excess you have, smoke that out, and bring it down. Just like that, because we're going to be putting another color in the lower lash line as well, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye, and then we're going to blend out the lower lash line with a couple other colors. So I cleaned off that same brush we just used, the Morphe M506. So I'm going to put the tea color down very lightly, and then I'm going to smoke it out with that gold wig color. And go in with that wig color, which is the gold one, and blend it on the lower lash line as well. That wig color is so pretty. It's a very shiny, pretty gold color. So for the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with that white shade lash back on the Morphe M431 brush. And I'm going to pack the white shade here and blend it out a bit to bring out the brow bone some more since it is a smoky eye. So now that we have that done, I'm going to put a black liner in my lower lash line. The black eyeliner I use for my lower lash line is the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Pencil. I use the shade Legend. So I'm just going to line the lower lash line with this. Next, I am going to do a winged liner because in the reference photo, it definitely looks like she has a winged liner on and smoky eyes do look nice with winged liners, especially ones as dramatic as these. So for liquid liner, I use Better Than Sex Eyeliner by Too Faced. I use the color Deepest Black, like this. I just dropped my cap. I'll pick it up later. So I'm gonna start by making a solid line across the lid. All right, and now we are going to make that winged liner. A while back, one of my first few videos was my everyday makeup routine and where I showed you guys how to do my winged liner. If you want, you can go back and watch that or I can make a new video for you guys if you would like. Alright, so now we are going to do mascara and lashes. As always, use my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And then for lashes, I am going to use my Lennon lashes in the style New York. Because they're very fluffy and dramatic, and I think they'll definitely pull the whole look together. So let me go ahead and do the mascara first, and then the lashes. Now we're going to do some lashes, so we're going to put the falsies on, and then we'll do the bottom coat of mascara while we wait, and then do another coat on the top ones. If you really want to know how I in-depthly do the lashes and stuff, my previous video where it's a step-by-step -step guide for beginners everyday look, I do explain more in-depth how I do my mascara and lashes together if you want to go check that out. All right, so now that the eyes are finished, we are gonna go ahead and do some blush, highlight, and lips. Now in the reference photo, I don't see any contour or anything, just a pretty like reddish pink blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this blush that I have right here. This is a La Femme blush set. I don't know any of the names. None of the shade names are on here. The one in the middle, I don't remember if that's the one I said I was gonna use or not, but that's the one I'm gonna use. 
preference photo. She's really only shown wearing highlight on the tip of her nose, I think. I like my highlight, so I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little bit and just put my highlight where I usually put it because I can't not wear highlight. So I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Brain Freeze Palette. I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Cocky right here, only a tiny bit, and blend cold shoulder. So only a little bit of the Cocky shade. Lightly dip into it and pat it off. I am only using a little bit of the cocky shade just because it is a darker color, but I think with this look it'll look really pretty mixed with cold shoulder over it. And because she really isn't wearing that much highlight, I do kind of want to, I don't know, not be too intense, but at the same time sometimes I feel like I can't help it just because I have a heavy highlight hand. Alright, so we are going to do some setting spray, lip scrub, and lipstick, and then we will be done. So for setting spray, as always, I just use the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray, and then I fan it out. I'm just gonna do a lip scrub real quick. I'm just gonna use the Cucumber Mint by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Whoa! As I, like, drop the whole jar on myself. I think Cucumber Mint is one of the best ones he's ever come out with. I love lip scrubs. I can't help it. So for lips, I'm going to use two different kinds. I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Floor Liquid Lipstick in Calabasas first. And then on top of it, I'm going to use the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Super Stay Lipstick in Lasting Lilac. I was really struggling with what kind of lips to do with this look, but she looks like she has like a dark pink nude around and then like a light one in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and try to ombre these two together. So we're going to do the Calabasas one from Jeffree Star first. Okay, so now that we have that color on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this right here. Aside from Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipsticks, of course, because they do last all day long, the Maybelline 24 hour color ones are seriously amazing. I have these two other ones right here, as well as this one right here. I really do love the Maybelline Super Stay colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over, and these are cool because you put the color on and then you put like the chapstick type thing, and that's what makes it last all day. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I am going to put this on my lips and then kind of ombre it with my fingers and try to get it to look as close as the reference photo as possible. This stuff smells so good. Now I'm going to put the little chapstick part over it. That's what makes it last all day and makes it a little bit shinier. This stuff is like magic. All right, and that is the finished look. So. Let me know what you guys thought of this video and let me know how I did in the comments below. Do I look close to the reference photo? I know the pictures are a little blurry, but those were about the only ones I could get. Also, always leave comments below about anything you want to. Always recommend new video ideas for me. And don't forget that I do have a huge giveaway going on on my Twitter right now. So head on over to that. My links are always listed below in the description box. You are not going to want to miss out on this giveaway. It is live as we speak. So go ahead and check that out. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember to stay strong, stay beautiful, and love yourself always. Bye, Glam Fam.